Okay, next we're going to hear from the head coach of the Cardinals at the University of the Incarnate Word. Larry Kennan is making his uh, first appearance as the Cardinals head coach and uh, looks to have the uh, uh, UIW team into an exciting season this year. Coach Kennan. Thank you. It's a privilege to be here today. Uh, I want to follow up with what's already been said. Stan and the, and the people who run this conference do a very nice job with it. and it, It's a very, very classy league and, and I appreciate it. Thank you very much. At the, at the coaches meeting we had about three months ago, Bill Maskell said he was glad I was joining the conference because he would no longer be the oldest coach in the league. <laughs> and I've had Wayne Witt, our SID, going back and looking through old press guides, and I think he's been fibbing about how old he is. I think he's quite a bit older than I am. So. Um, I've always felt it was a privilege to be a coach from the time I started coaching when I was 22 years old till, till now, and I, and I still do. I think it's a privilege to coach. And, and when I grew up in Southern California as a young player, high school player and college player, my, my idol was Darrell Royal at the University of Texas. And, you know, it was always one of my dreams in life to coach in the state of Texas. And, and I did that a long time ago at SMU and at the University and now I'm back in Texas. And, and it's truly an honor. I, I really enjoy it. Um, you know, we, we were picked seventh. I don't, I have no clue how good we're going to be. You know, I, I, I don't have an idea. I haven't coached for a long time. I haven't, I know this. Uh, I've looked at film of people in this league. This is, a, this is a, a league of really, really talented players and really, really good football coaches. Nobody's going to outcoach anybody in this league. It's, it's, a, it's about the players in the league. If you got better players than, than the other guys, you usually win. And the coaching in this league is second to none. It's, it's the, arguably the best Division II conference in, in football, and uh, without question. So I, I applaud everybody. Um, you know, when we got together, uh, brand new, it's, it's easy to, to come in and just make a bunch of mass changes and, and have a rebuilding year when you're, when you're a new coach and the team wasn't very good last year. And I told our, our 20 seniors, we're not going to do that. We're gonna, we are going got 20 seniors, our first, first real senior class we've ever had. This will be our fourth season of football. And so we owe it, the rest of the guys and the coaches on this team and the university owes it to those guys who had the, the vision to come with us when we didn't even have a field, we had no footballs, we had no stadium, nothing. And uh, we owe it to them to be the best we can be. And, uh, you know, we, we went through spring practice and, uh, you know, there's talk about returning quarterbacks. We have no clue who our quarterback's going to be in the fall. We have no clue who our receivers are going to be in the fall. I think we have a very solid offensive line and tight ends that, that uh, played last year and we ran the ball pretty good and Trent Reels is a, a good running back. And we need somebody behind him to, to give him to spell him a little bit because he gets beat up. Uh, but we don't know if you know it'd be nice if we had a, a returning quarterback that we thought was really really good. We don't, and uh, so it's going to be probably a new guy. Uh, defensively, we changed our scheme a little bit. We hired Brian Gamble, who was on the staff to be a, the defensive coordinator. He's a very talented young defensive coach, and, and we're excited about what he's doing with with it all. And uh, you know and, and I don't, I don't want to talk much about our new guys because the, the, the veterans deserve all the, the attention right now. I think everybody feels like they had a good recruiting class, I think. Some of us are still recruiting guys. We may get some guys here in the next few days that want to play for us, as, you, as everybody may. Uh, but I think on, on offense, we return mostly starters. If we can find a quarterback and some receivers, we might be decent. Defensively, we'll, we have a group of returning starters. Uh, and I think they've, they've seen uh, the freshmen we've recruited and there will be some real, real competition on defense and particularly in the secondary and in, and in the uh, linebacking groups because there's some really talented young people in that group and, uh, and we're excited about it. And, and uh, you know, we're going to respect everybody. We have, I have great respect for all you coaches and, and, and all you players, but we're not going to fear anybody. We're going to go play to the best of our ability. and. And we'll win the games we should win, and, uh, and and may not win the games we're not supposed to win. And, and uh, we have two two players here. Andy Siemens, our center, he started 21 straight games for us. He's a fabulous guy, a good football player, and and a great student. Devin Avery's a cornerback for us, who's been there the the whole time, uh, going on five years. And he's a again a fabulous guy. He's a uh, a 
great student. And uh, I want to say one last thing. I get, I, I get the, the opportunity to coach with my youngest son, who's been here at the University of McCarter Ward for five years. He's helped start the program. And because of he and Mark Papich, I'm the head coach today, so I owe him one. And I, Coach Carthel knows how it is to coach with his son. I, I saw his son out at the San Angelo Clinic, and I said, is it, is it hard coaching for your dad? He said, oh, sometimes. I said, does he yell at you? He said, nah. He said, but if he ever says to me, son, you really disappointed me, he said, it about kills me. So we understand how it is. So I'm, I'm glad I'm here, and uh, if I can help anybody, let me know. Thank you.